Welcome to the third video in this series on construction of a thickness sander. In this video, I'll, I'll show you how to build the sanding drum. The drum is constructed of 4-inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe, and the end caps were cut from 2 by material. The drum is mounted on a 1-inch uh, threaded pipe. The total length of the roller of the of the drum is 30 inches and that was to accommodate a 25 inch belt to move the material through the sander so let's get right to it the end cap was cut from two by material since the drum was four inches a four inch circle cutter worked perfectly for cutting these end caps so that they fit perfectly inside of the drum. Now you want to make sure you mark the center of the end caps when you drill the hole because you want it to be you want the hole to be precisely in the center of the end cap. me, the trickiest part of the project was trying to determine how to mount the sanding drum onto the threaded rod so that the sanding drum would engage when the motor turned the shaft. And I decided the easiest way to do that was to put a pin through the threaded rod and cut a groove in the end cap that would accommodate the pin so that the sanding drum would engage when the motor turned. I wanted the drum to be at least somewhat easily removable, so I put two pins in the end cap that would be inserted to engage the sanding drum. I countersunk the holes for the pins and attached them with nylon lock nuts. As I mentioned earlier, I put a pin in the middle shaft so that it would engage the sanding drum when the motor turned. You could probably get by without threading it, but I used a threaded pin so that I would make sure it didn't move or slide around. This next section shows how the sanding drum was put together, how the pieces are fit in the roller, and it's pretty self-evident, so I will just sit back here and let you enjoy the music.
ready to attach to the frame. I attached it with two pillow block bearings. Make sure you pre-drill the holes uh, so they go in more easily and don't crack the frame. was to attach the pulley on the same side as the motor. So you just want to slide the pulley in place and then uh, tap in the key. Also make sure that you tighten the set screw in the pulley. Make sure that the drum was making good contact with the material I was sanding. So I decided to level the PVC pipe. The table was set up for zero clearance between the drum and the table. So I did put a spacer in between there and I used 80 grit sandpaper to level it. So I, I put the sandpaper in place, turned on the drum, and then slowly raised the table to make contact with the PVC it moves so little you won't be able to even see it move in in this uh, video here but but I am slowly raising it from the left end where the feed is sanding drum was level I could put the sandpaper on I used uh, 80 grit sandpaper uh, it's three inches wide and it has a sticky backing which makes it easier to put on there. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to line it up. You have to line it up so that you can attach it to each end of the roller. So uh, you can do it by trial and error. There's also a calculation you could do using the diameter of the drum and the width of the tape, but uh, it was just as easy for me to do it by trial and error. Okay, you're almost ready to use your sander. The last thing you'll want is some kind of cover to collect dust in your dust collecting system. The drum spins at about 1700 RPM and creates a lot of dust, especially if you're in your basement and you're near the furnace or water heater or something that vents. Uh, you don't want to have that much dust in the air. So uh, like and subscribe. Then you'll be sure not to miss the last part of the project. <laughs>